Hi, my name is Andrew Darlins. I'm an Asset Reliability Technician at CBC Australia. Today I'll be talking about one particular problem which is often encountered during the alignment of a coupled machine train, and that's a condition called soft foot. There are two types of soft foot, parallel angular, which must be addressed before proceeding with an alignment. Today I'll be focusing on parallel. Using our test rig here to simulate what you find out in the field, soft foot exists when one or more feet sit at a different height parallel to the base, creating a deflection or a rocking across two corners. Now there are a number of reasons why this deflection may occur, some of which are warping of the base, too many shims under one foot, or simply the foot itself may be shorter than the rest. Here I have set up our laser alignment equipment onto our test rig. I have already entered in the critical measurements to our handset. I can now proceed with measuring the deflection at each foot. So starting with the nominated bulbs, we simply loosen. Record the deflection value and then tighten the bolt. Then it's just a simple matter of repeating the step for the remaining bolts. The maximum allowable soft foot deflection is 0.05 mm for all speeds and as shown on the results screen there is excessive deflection across two of the feet, top right and bottom left. And by placing shims to the value of at least 0.17 of a millimetre under the bottom left foot this should rectify the problem. This is the corresponding foot. I have now placed the required shim, similar to this, under this foot and have repeated the soft foot process for all feet. And now, on our results screen, you can see that the soft foot had been reduced to within the allowable limit of 0.05 of a millimetre for all feet. We can now proceed with our alignment. This concludes our demonstration on parallel soft foot. If you have any further questions, please contact your local CBC branch. Thank you.